Aya is this slow feeling of going on a walk with your great, 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 great grandmother that ultimately um, is nurturing and is taking you through the process of letting you see your decisions. And for me, like see what, like the decisions I made in my life and, you know, in a nurturing way, like the first ceremony was for me, like taking me through a lot of these decisions that I've made in my life and, and saying, Hey, how could you have done this a little bit? How could you have come at this with a little more empathy, right? How could have you handled this a little bit with more love? And it was really beautiful, but then it took a turn and then it took a turn to like dark and, while there's this feeling of like other people, some you, you, when you hear the first person purge, you know, cause you're always scared, right? If you've never done ayahuasca, you're scared. You're like you hear about these rumors and you hear about the throwing up, you hear about, you know, coming out of every end. Right. And you're just like, I don't know if I want to do this. What's interesting is when you're there, everyone is so scared when you finally take the cup and you're finally in this circle and it's this dim night and you lay back and you don't know what to expect. When the first person purges, it's this feeling of relief that it wasn't you and this feeling of like, I honor that person for having the courage. And then you realize throughout the ceremony that it's not about being sick, that is this courage of letting go of what's no longer serving you, that's been in your soul, that you've been carrying on you, carrying in you, like, you know, this, whatever that may be, for me, it was judgment. And I fought purging. I fought letting it go. I carried that judgment that I talked to you about with Paul all eight hours. Finally, it ended. Everyone leaves. And I'm like, I don't feel good, guys. Like, I'm still in it. Everyone's kind of celebrating their breakthroughs. And I'm like, I don't know about this. So I go out by the freaking bonfire. And I just remember looking at um, a friend of ours, Ben. And I'm like, I don't really feel good, man. Like, I'm still in it. And I saw dark evil. Like, I was seeing just like, it was just evil, man. Evil, like I just was really bad, bad on myself. I was, now the intention, again, everything is with intention when you go into these ceremonies. So my intention for this ceremony was to honor the divine feminine because I am letting go of an old relationship that's been hurting me for a really long time. And I want to invite a new relationship in my life. I want to be a king for a queen. I want to, not just for my own queen, but I want to acknowledge and see and honor all of the queens and goddesses in, in, in our in our you know, in our world. And, you know, so I really, that was my intention. So the end of the first day was me going through facing everything that I've done to a woman in my entire life. Every girl I've had sex with, every girl I've actually freaking said nasty shit to, or that I've done wrong, that I've judged, or that I've just like fucking, you know, just fucked up, right? Like just did dumb shit. You know, the drunk Gerard, when I was a young man in my 20s, I would just fucking obnoxious and would yell and say nasty fucking shit and just like curse and be like, just uh, mean and angry. And like, you know, I had to deal with all of that that I never dealt with. So I finally couldn't take it no more. And I was so down on myself. And finally I got up and said, I got to go to the bathroom. And halfway walking over to where, trying to get to where the bathroom was, all of a sudden I felt like I was going to absolutely faint. I've never felt so weak in my life. And then one, Two, and I teeter. And right before I like go down, Ben catches me. He's like, I'm here for you, buddy. And I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. And I was like, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna. And then right then and there, I fall into a pit in the garden and just purge, right? It all comes out, I vomit. And it was the best fucking feeling in my life. I finally forgave myself and let go and of the, judgment and everything I had done. And I just, it was like this feeling of this, finally I can let go and forgive myself of that. That was day one. 